Hi guys, welcome back to my channel. This is going to be a little bit different, but this one has got a little bit of a gap between competitions, but because I had an absolutely crazy May, all of the little yard jobs have built up. So while this one stays in to rest her belly, let's crack on. First job was finally putting this blue chip banner in our arena. I've had this for probably over a year and it's just been living in our wash bay. But it's time to put it into the arena because we are sprucing up the yard. We've been putting some flowers up, making it all rather pretty. But yeah, any reason for Brad to get his drill out and we can finally have the banner where it should be, which is in the arena. It's just brilliant for, well, getting the horses used to when they find the banners at actual competitions. It also, of course, just looks really, really cool. And I think it makes me quite proud to working with this company. I obviously bought from them for like, like four years before I actually signed a contract. It needs a little bit of a clean because we do have birds nesting in the wash bay. So there's quite a bit of bird poop on it. But once it was done, it just looked amazing. However, we now need something for this space because the wash bay has gone back to looking a little bit sorry for itself. Anyway, next job, heading off to the shops to get some bits to fix my energizer for my electric fence. Little fatty has been breaking out onto all the long grass and it's just not helping her diet. So this is our local farm shop, popped in. I had absolutely no idea what I was looking for, can't lie, just sort of wandered around. Turns out they didn't have it and we had to go to Halfords. I also want to grab some reflective tape for the back of my trailer. I can explain all of it later, but they didn't have that. So grab the crocodile clips that we needed and headed back to the farm to grab a cup of tea and enjoy a little bit of the Jubilee while Brad fix Energizer. Don't worry, that's Doris's carer. No one's got COVID. Boom, Energizer fixed. That will keep the fatty in. Now I know home renovations probably aren't that interesting to you, but when Brad started using a saw in my living room, I just couldn't resist picking up the camera. Basically, we're putting this shelf behind the sofa just to add a little bit of height. Dog was very helpful and boom, there it is. So it's meant to be a secret shelf, but it actually went all the way to the wall and I'm gonna put like a big gold ornament there to match. But back to horse content. Now this is the state of Dublin. I could not have a productive weekend without sorting this out. Now, don't worry, she's on a diet. She just came in from the field, so she's bloated. Gave her a good bath, gave her a trim, did her bridal path, shaved all her beard off, trimmed all of her legs, sorted all of her tail out, and the colour of the water was disgusting. But we are raw Norfolk in, like, 20 days, so I needed to get on it. But she's on starvation field, so the belly will go. Right, I had to go and get this tape. £30 that cost me but it's proper lorry grade tape. So apparently it's gonna last forever. The idea behind this is I saw the awful story of the Aventus lorry that broke down on the motorway and it was then driven into by another lorry and unfortunately all the horses on board died. It absolutely, it terrified me, I won't lie. My biggest fear now is breaking down and being crashed into effectively. So as per recommendation of sort of lorry websites and it was in the horse and hound we bought this tape to make the trailer more visible from behind there's like yellow reflective tape on the front and i had a little bit on the back here but it's like fading in the sun but it's still reflective however we decided to transform the back of the horse box basically into a giant beacon and actually i don't completely dislike it but it does look ridiculous However, that's my crazy productive weekend, crammed into four and a half minutes. Thank you for watching, and we will see you next time, hopefully with a much more fun video, and competition starts soon. Bye!